my name is Marco Kovacic. Um, um, in my real life, I'm a research fellow and assistant professor in youth studies. But in, in this role, you know, I'm cooperating with Croatian National Agency in implementing the Eurogoes local project at the national and European level. I'm not going to bother you for long, but I am going to present you just one of the possible structures or ideas how Europe goes local can look like at a national level, the case study of Croatia, of course. So I'm not going to be having the PowerPoint presentation, just talk to you. Um, I will be followed by uh, Mario Žolicek, who will talk about two spin-off projects within Europe goes local, and then Lucia Kerov, uh, one of our municipal representatives. As Judith said, so Europe Goes Local is happening at the two levels, European level and national level. These two levels have to be interconnected and, you know, the Europe inf influences in, uh, on the national level, but also, you know, we try from national level to influence European level also. Croatia decided that what we are going to be doing in, within this Europe Goes Local project is that we're going to have cycles. Cycle lasts for a year and a half, and basically it consists out of a very structured and dense interaction between youth workers and uh, municipal representatives. We decided, of course, to focus only on cities, municipalities and counties, because we believe that if we want to develop youth work, that we have to go, you know, systemic. We don't work with youth organizations, but with those who can, you know, create uh, local policies on youth work. We do understand that without youth organization, there's no youth work. Therefore, youth organizations are our partners and we involve them in the following steps that I'm going to present. The cycle begins with an open tender for cities that, or, and municipalities where young, uh, cities and municipalities fill in a questionnaire about with their motivation of why they want to participate in the cycle of the Europe Goes Local. 15 cities and municipalities are being selected for each cycle and they're being invited in a four-day intensive training on local youth work. This training, they don't gain only, acquire only competences in youth work, but also they're obliged to develop their individual plan of development of the local youth work. Each city gets its own mentor, supervisor, a youth worker from youth organization that helps them in developing of these plans. After the, this training ends, uh, each of the municipal or city representative goes back into their community and basically is in charge together with its mentor to implement this individual plan. The plans are uh, designed in a way that they're implementable in a one year, that they have some kind of long-term effects. And basically that um, they're created, that they involve various participants uh, within the community. The mentor helps the, each municipality to implement this plan. So we use opportunities from the Europe Goes Local and Erasmus Plus to send um, local representatives or municipal representatives in different countries via study visits, conferences, and so on and so forth, where they can learn about the aspects of their individual plan. For instance, if someone wants to develop a new program in youth center or participatory youth budgeting, we send them in countries, in municipalities, our partners from UEGL, where they can learn how this is being done in this particular municipality. Each cycle ends with the national conferences where municipalities and cities present their achievement throughout the year and a half. Final step is the evaluation of the mentors and municipalities and basically the reassessment of what to be done differently next time. We're looking forward to working with new municipalities. Hello, I'm really happy to be with you here today. Uh, as Marco said, my name is Mario Zulicek and I'm coming from the Association of Cities of the Republic of Croatia. I'm going to present a few, few things that actually uh, we did in, in within the Eurogoes local project, but also what actually Eurogoes uh, local project cost in, uh, in Croatia. So uh, in the next few minutes, I'm going to speak mostly about the uh, Youth, uh, youth, City for Youth actually certificate actually we developed in Croatia this year. 
Uh, as Marco said, the whole process for the cities uh, within the project starts with a training uh, where actually the, the city representatives uh, need to, to make an analysis of their uh, current uh, youth policies in their city. At this step, actually, we notice that uh, city representatives are quite lost because they don't have any tool uh, in order to make the analysis of the current uh, youth policies, and they didn't have any concrete, uh, I don't know, concrete uh, criteria on what actually they can do and that they don't have at the moment. Yeah. So actually, we decided to gather all the relevant organizations and institutions uh, in the field of youth work in Croatia and to create some kind of a uh, in the end, it's a certificate system, but uh, it was uh, designed as a tool to, to, to make this analysis on the local level. Uh, except this uh, analysis of the existing youth policies, uh, this is a great tool actually to, to give the, uh, the actually uh, concrete idea to the youth advisory boards or youth, youth councils in Croatia uh, what to advocate and uh, what to speak about with the uh, city representatives. Third, a really important uh, point of this certificate is that actually we gather and map uh, good practices uh, from Croatian cities and then put them in one place so actually we can uh, foster exchanging of these good practices. The whole system uh, was actually created uh, based on the analysis of the existing uh, systems in Europe, uh, actually seven of them, and in the end we have uh, 76 criteria in eight mapping fields. First call was published uh, in January this year, and we had 32 applications from the 32 uh, cities. And in the end, nine, uh, nine cities got awarded with a City for Youth certificate. I got to mention that uh, one of the basic uh, criteria in order to start the application is to, to have adopted or signed this European Charter on local youth work by the city. Uh, at the end, I would just mention that we, we are planning to uh, publish a new call uh, in January uh, next year. And we also plan to, to translate these uh, documents uh, in English. So actually, any other country in Europe can, can use this uh, certificate. Of course, you can adapt this to your, your uh, realities in your countries to the law framework and so on. But uh, we are sure that it will be quite uh, useful for you as well. Hi. Um, firstly, I would like to thank you um, all for invitation and for organization of this valuable event. Um, my name is uh, Lucia Kiero, as Mark mentioned already. Uh, I'm um, youth advisor uh, in the city of Rijeka. Uh, this uh, uh, position and the, this uh, job description about my working place is uh, one of the relevant output of the EDL. So uh, maybe to just uh, tell you a bit about the uh, city of Rijeka, we are third largest city in uh, Croatia. Um, we, start, uh, we joined uh, EDL network in 2018. And uh, at that period, we didn't have a person uh, who is in our uh, department uh, for youth. So uh, we start uh, uh, doing some uh, research uh, about uh, possible uh, job description uh, and uh, working play, uh, position for uh, this youth worker, but in municipal level. And so maybe it's important to add that youth work is still not recognized and valued as a profession in Rijeka or in Croatia. Uh, and there is no uh, clear definition of job description for a person working uh, with young people. And for us in City of Rijeka, uh, it was important to establish this uh, workplace uh, and to know what this person will uh, do and how, uh, how she connect and network with our partners, NGOs, and maybe university uh, in order to train uh, the work for youth and uh, to implement policy, uh, youth policies. Uh, so what we learned on the practical level, we have uh, a lot of trainings, uh, we have a lot, a lot of um, events uh, that joined uh, our, our other municipality and we learned from each other um, and we network. 